Welcome everybody to a look at a new Eureka Classics release and it is 1989's In the Line of Duty number 4. So uh, yeah, this is the uh, follow up to the third one that we've already reviewed uh, from the year prior. And uh, yeah, this is directed by Yun Wu Ping, who also did Drunken Master with uh, Jackie Chan, as well as Master Z, The Ip Man Legacy. And uh, this is again another Hong Kong action film, although it clocks in at 94 minutes long, so about 10 minutes uh, longer than the previous effort. Once again, stars Cynthia Khan, who was in the previous film. And it also stars Donnie Yen, who was in four of the Ip Man films, as well as Blade 2, Hero and Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. So definitely the, one of the more well-known actors uh, to be involved in uh, these films. And it also stars Michael Wong, who was in Royal Warriors, which is the second film in the technically in the line of duty series. So uh, yeah, this is about two detectives who are all put to their necks in trouble and in each other's faces as they try to shut down a drug trafficking scheme that could be connected with international ties to organised crime. But in the midst of their investigation, innocent dot, immigrant dot worker Luke Wan Ting gets caught up in the mix when he witnesses the murder of an intelligence operative and is framed for the crime. So, uh, yeah, I find this to be just as good as a prior film, despite the action scenes being a little bit on the less explosive side. Because there's only really one explosion in the entire film, to be honest. But thanks to the extra running time, the plot is more satisfying while feeling less rushed. Uh, Cynthia Khan is again once again great and uh, yeah in the lead role donnie yen is equally as great in the in the co-lead role um, alongside her and uh, yeah the supporting cast is good it is well paced the action scenes and stunts are once again stellar the score is better than the prior film and uh, the production is solid and the plot is more engrossing despite a couple of predictable aspects so yeah again like with the previous release you get a really nice slip cover with new artwork Minor spoilers for the film, but it all connects once you actually watch the thing. So, uh, yeah, that's nicely done. And, uh, yeah, as per usual, you get a choice of which cover you wish to choose from. So, uh, there's the disc. I've always liked the uh, colour schemes that they've used for these. So, the previous one was yellow. This one is blue. And there's the alternative alt artwork that you can choose from. Again, always nice to have that choice. And yeah, you also get a uh, booklet with this, just like we did with the prior film. So again, just like with that prior film, you get artwork, different kinds of posters. Again, the cast and the crew. And then you got Beating the Odds, Picking Sides with In the Line of Duty 4 by James Oliver. And then again, you get some shots from the film. Some absolutely incredible hand-to-hand -hand combat on this. Probably better than the previous film overall because you've not only got the great efforts of Cynthia Khan but you've also got Donnie Yen involved as well and Michael Wong who more than proved himself in Royal Warriors is rather good in this as well as that so yeah some amazing kicks and punches and stunts in general there's some more shots from the film that ambulance scene is absolutely great as well And yeah, just more posters basically, which again, I am always a fan of seeing because, and then you've got some behind the scenes photos as well. And yeah, it's all very, very good. So uh, yeah, just like the previous effort, this has had a uh, 2K restoration of the original theatrical cut. And then there's a 1080p presentation of the original export version from a brand new 2k restoration i watched the theatrical cut purely because i imagine that's going to be the better one of the two because usually that means a vision of the director and all those involved hasn't been compromised but yeah you also get obviously just like in the previous one you get cantonese and english audio options again i watched it in english just because it's slightly easier um but yeah you can also get a brand new length future length audio commentary by Asian film expert frank yang Brand new future length audio commentary by action experts, Mike Leader and Arne Vanema. Uh, again, they were all involved in the previous one. Then you get archival commentary by Hong Kong expert Stefan Hammond and lead actor Michael Wong. Archival interview with Donnie Yen. Archival Donnie Yen action featurette trailers and obviously the reversible sleeve that we've already talked about. So uh, yeah, both of these are really, really good. I will say though, out of the four in the line of duty films that we've seen now with yes madame royal warriors and the third one and this royal warriors is probably my favorite of the f of the four 
but then these two and then uh, yes madam which is, is a solid effort but you can definitely tell it's like the, the trying to find the feet in terms of what to do with these people with these people that they're working with and you know the kind of concept of girls with guns and stuff like that so uh, yeah but they're all really really fun films they're not you know bad in any significant way got the flaws sure but they're not awful by any means and uh, yeah they're all really rather fun especially when it comes to the action scenes and the lead cast so uh yeah i highly recommend all four of them quite frankly and it's a really really amazing from eureka to get these four films all blu-ray debuts in the uk which is fantastic and then obviously they've restored them in 2k as well to give them some fresh life and uh yeah i'm just looking forward to the, what the rest that eureka is going to be releasing for the rest of this year because We've got the bullet train, then we've got that four horror uh, comp uh, kind of like box set that's coming out that has four films from the classic horror days of the 30s, I think, on the 40s. So, uh, yeah, Eureka are really on their A game lately. I've not been disappointed by anything that they've put out in the last five or six films, I think it's been now. So, uh, yeah, here's hoping that run continues. But nonetheless, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this film if you've seen it already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.